Hello, the title of this video is from the short run to the medium run and this is going to be a very very brief introduction ok, let's get started in the previous videos we have seen that in the short run with this price level the economy first pass from this point to this point when we use an expansionary policy whether it is a fiscal or monetary expansionary policy so the first effect is that income or real GDP grows from here to here so in this graph we go from this point to this point then there is a second effect that happened in the short run where the economy goes from this point to this point that in this graph is this point so an expansionary policy produces first an impact on income or real GDP and second it produces an impact in prices so in the short run the economy goes from this point to this point and there is an increase in the price level so in the short run price level increases from here to here and the supply curve, the aggregate supply curve will determine the magnitude of this price level increment but what happened after the short run? the worker sees that the price level increases so they lose purchasing power so they ask for higher salaries and firms increase cost because they have to pay higher salaries and because the cost increase firms increase prices so in the middle run what happens is that the supply curve shift and then the equilibrium pass from this point in the short run to this point in the medium run and the price level increases from here to here so in the short run the economy goes from here to here and in the medium run the economy goes from here to here but in order to explain and simulate this uh, medium run equilibrium we need uh, to make assumptions and we have to define the concept of natural level of income and we have to decide if the aggregate supply curve is going to be curved like this or if it is going to be linear like this so this is the sort of thing that we are going to try to show in the next videos okay that's it uh, see you soon in the next video